right, that was funny. be doing some work on this truck here soon hopefully as long as the weather holds out got a whole freaking stack of parts for it this is a Papaw 2004 Chevy Silverado extended cab flavor got the 4.8 in it nothing crazy very stock just had the bed liner put in got the uh, line X done it's looking real nice, holding, holding in there. I got the uh, UV stable one, so that's good. I got it done at uh, Line X in Franklin, Tennessee. And they did a really good job of spraying over the top of the bed rail here and coming down the side. Uh, it had some marks on it from where it had a previous, like the cheapo plastic bed liner in it. And so that covers that up nicely. Went all the way back in the tailgate all the way up to the uh, spoiler in the back, tailgate cover, whatever that's called. I put all new uh, hardware on the tailgate, striker pin and cable and all that's good stuff. So hopefully that'll be good to go for a while to come. It didn't even cover up all the drain holes. So those are still good to go. So I shouldn't have any water build up in here which can be a problem sometimes you get these liners put in they put it on thick and then it won't drain so i told them to be careful about that and they were and it turned out pretty well i think there he is what are we doing barn moving steel so today we're going to try to get the bed off of this truck. This is the Papaw truck. So I'm going to try to lift it up. I'm not real sure. I don't have any kind of special accoutrement to lift a truck bed. So we're going to try to figure something. I don't know. Do you have any idea what we're going to, how we're going to do this? System of pulleys. Leverage. You look excited. Is that because it's so it's cool nice. out? Oh yeah, yeah. That's yep. Okay. It's it's not cold. Nope. It's hot. It's always hot when we do this stuff. <laughs> That's okay, because it's okay. We're 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 prepared. We've got sports drinks. Power through. Sure. Well, we got uh, we got pulleys and hoists and what are the purple things called again? Just, just rope straps, slings, right? Load, load a sling, yeah, web sling. Anyway, and we got these rampolators. Now we figured out that going forward on four ramps at a time is not ideal for what we're doing. Nope. So uh, we'll get that set up, I guess. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Do we have the key to the truck? But you did. I never have the darn key. Okay, I'm gonna go get the key now. All right. America. Something's wrong, it didn't start. It's not remote start, it just unlocks it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I know, it's old, it's fine. Hey! Hey! Scott's gonna put his take some his, his truck on a, on some sweet ramps. Vacular. Okay, hang on. Maybe. He did spin. Both tires spinning. That's what I was just saying. They are. Yeah. 
Move forward a bit. There you go. Okay, let's drive it. Almost. This is done. Yep. There you go. A little more. This may be the stupidest thing we've ever done. No, no, it's a good idea. It's a idea. It'll be fine. We're riggers. You know that cat's cradle thing? You We're riggers, right? <laughs> I think this I think this is gonna go horribly wrong. Don't take bets on whether or not we can just pick up the truck. <laughs> Oh God. Well, the bed's off. That was, uh, was that the smartest thing we've ever done? I'm pretty sure both our backs are wrecked. Yeah, that was pretty much the dumbest thing I think we've ever done, but I mean, it's, uh, it's off of there. Truck looks real cool without any bed on it. I mean, I'll step back and see if I can get some perspective here. Yeah, it's real, uh, real dumb looking. That's okay. So now we're gonna figure out how to get this bed and put it on the uh, trailer back there so we can roll it around in the driveway. But uh, bent up a little couple of parts of it, but I think it's nothing that can't be fixed. But uh, idea is to be able to get to all this stuff a lot easier and replace all these parts and just be a lot easier to deal with. There's my new uh, trick flow cover on my rear diff there. That's nice. Tiny little gas tank. I was kind of shocked at how small it actually looked, but anyway, so this is what we did. We hooked these up and we had this hoist up here and the tree flexed and the, the uh, everything flexed and then it was flexing and we couldn't get it up high enough and well, it was done, but anyway. All right, we're gonna get this thing on the trailer.
Got to put it back in the yard. Something about this just seems silly. That sucked. It happened. That sucked. Bed's on. Bed's not on the truck. No, it's not over there anymore. No. We're tired. We're calling it a day. More to come on the Papaw truck. We'll keep vlogging along.